Hey guys, it's Dave back again. Um, I just want to do another video, this time commenting a little bit about uh, the differences between setting up boot camp on Tiger, which I had done before, and setting it up on Leopard, which is actually surprisingly easier, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> and along with that, I'll just talk about some of the games I've been playing uh, via boot camp. I'm running Windows Vista and how they perform and so on. But basically, the biggest difference between running boot camp on Tiger, which was a beta of boot camp, and running it on uh, Leopard is that this time there's no burning of CDs and that was always my least favorite part was having to burn a CD with all of the Mac drivers so that's things for like your keyboard, your mouse, uh, if you're using a Mighty Mouse um, like the Wi-Fi, the graphics card and so on before in Tiger I would always have to burn a disk with all that information and then once I installed Windows I would have to load the um, the drivers on which was kind of a pain it was cool at the time just to be able to do that but you know not having to um, burn that disk is one extra step that I don't have to worry about which is cool uh, basically all that information is kept on the leopard disk now so once you install um, boot camp and install whatever flavor of windows you're installing um, then you just have to pop in the leopard disk and it recognizes that you're running in windows and it just installs everything right off the bat which is nice um, so honestly the installation wasn't a big hassle like I said I'm running Vista Ultimate right now and everything's running great Arrow is uh, it's uh, working great no slowdown or anything and the um, all the games that I run they're running great too so I can't really complain what I've been playing is um, Day of Defeat uh, Day of Defeat Source which is a Steam game from Valve that's a it's a multiplayer only game. I think you can get it for like 10 bucks. It's kind of old. But they recently released um, new achievements for it. If you checked out my blog, uh, I think I made a post about it. <clears throat> but what, basically what Steam has been uh, doing, or what Valve has been doing, I should say, is going back to some of their older games and incorporating achievements for the Steam platform. Um, I'm not sure if they'll bring them to any other older games. I'd love to see that. Uh, games like Counter-Strike uh, source would be awesome to have achievements for, but um, I'm just glad uh, because Day of Defeat is one of my favorite games, uh, especially from Valve, so to get a chance and a reason to go back and replay some of that, it's uh, an awesome thing. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, it runs great. There's no slowdown at all. It actually runs faster than it did on my PC, which makes sense because the iMac is a lot um, faster of a machine than my old PC was. Um, the only thing that was a little tricky was getting it to uh, display correctly on the widescreen display. That's not like an iMac problem, that just uh, has to do with using a widescreen monitor. But once I figured out that you can uh, just switch the display mode to 16 by 9 and then um, apply a resolution via that, it wasn't a big problem. So I've been playing that. I also mentioned that I played the Crisis demo, which I think I'm going to go ahead and pick that game up. Um, it runs great, the demo level is uh, you're in, um, it's kind of like Far Cry if you ever played that, you're in like an island area and everything's really beautiful and it's really taxing on a machine but it runs really well so um, I'll be looking forward to get my hands on the full version. Um, what else have I been playing? Oh one other game I went back to Halo 2 for games for Windows which is a really actually pretty old game uh, I think it came out maybe like 2003 for the Xbox, and I played it all the way back then. But when they re-released it for Games for Windows Live, um, I picked it back up, and I played about half of it, and then for whatever reason, I just put it down and never got to play it again. And then I ended up downgrading from Vista to XP just because my machine was so slow. Um, that's no fault of Vista's. It's just I had a slow machine. and <clears throat> so And Games for Windows Live only works under Vista, so I couldn't really finish it until recently when I put Vista uh, via boot camp on my iMac. So I've been going back and replaying through that. And I'm almost to the end. I think I have like two levels left. But it's been running pretty good. I'm uh, happy with it. Obviously, like I said, that's an older game, so it should run well. Um, I haven't tried out the multiplayer really much, but I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, as long as I'm talking about it. Microsoft made an announcement for Games for Windows Live. If you watch the E3 press conference... Um, that Microsoft did, uh, you'll notice that unlike previous years, they didn't really talk about their Games for Windows stuff at all, and I'm kind of one that kind of looks down on their Games for Windows 
um, stuff. It seems like most of it's just Xbox 360 games that have been rehashed and re-released later down the road for PC, which is kind of, I won't say it's kind of lame, but well, it is. Um, I'd like to see some original content. Uh, but they made an announcement and said that they're going to make the multiplayer um, on the PC Games for Windows games free, which is good. Um, turns out PC gamers who have been that who have grown accustomed to getting free multiplayer all these years aren't really uh, into having to pay for an Xbox Live subscription to play on games from Windows Live. So big surprise there. But um, so they're going to go ahead and do that, which is good. Uh, it's something they probably should have done from the beginning. But um, they also mentioned that they're going to start uh, putting out some marketplace content, which is good. I'm hoping for demos, but I think they said things like videos and maybe some of the Xbox Live Arcade games. That would be awesome. But um, I'm just glad to see that they're doing something with that. Um, I really hate to see uh, PC gaming especially kind of um, taking a backseat. There's still a lot of opportunities, especially if you look at a game like World of Warcraft. Easily the best-selling game, and it's a PC game, PC exclusive. So that shows that there's a market for PC games still, a huge market. It's just not being tapped correctly. And that's why I'm a big fan of Steam. If you go to steampowered.com, I think it is, you can download the Steam um, client. And Steam is from Valve, who makes the Half-Life series. My favorite game of all time, Half-Life 2, and Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and 2. Um, as, long, or as well as uh, <clears throat> Team Fortress 2, um, Portal. So they have a bunch of really good games. But they also offer games from other publishers as well that you can buy. Um, so And they have community stuff like Xbox Live, friends list, clans, achievements. Like I said, they're integrating with Day of Defeat. So they're really stepping it up. And because of that, I think Microsoft has to do the same on their end with games for Windows Live. but Because, you know, uh, competition is always a good thing. Um, the one thing I will say about PC gaming on the iMac, as much as I've loved it, loved it this keyboard isn't exactly ideal for playing a PC game, unfortunately. Um, I love the keyboard, like I said in my previous video, I won't go over it again, but it's just like a laptop keyboard, basically, and I've never been a big fan of um, playing games on laptops, so <sighs> I've decided to hook up my uh, USB Logitech Wave keyboard for when I play games, but that's not a big hassle. Um, it just sits down where my, comp my PC tower used to sit, and if I'm in Windows and I want to play a game, I just bring it up and put it on my desk and away I go. So that's just a brief update of boot camp, a little bit of gaming stuff in there for you, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.